Hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, doing another draft, and this time it is the left handed draft. So, we did the right handed draft. You should go check that out if you have not already. And this will be the left handed players draft. So, as we do, I'm going to randomize the team here and I'm going to look at you guys and find out, you know, when I should stop. So, I'm going to keep looking. Keep looking. I feel like the green screen is on my glasses and always looks... There we go. Now if I get the light out of there, it's kind of gone. Anyway, boom. San Jose Sharks. Okay, I feel like we don't really use them ever, actually. So, that's interesting. That's a, that's a good one. Cool. Owner mode off. Fantasy draft on. Don't edit my lines, Jabroni. Player morale. I'll leave that off, I guess. And, yeah. Should be good to go. Cool. Rules and settings. Obviously, I'm going to turn injuries off. We don't want those to be happening. Boom. And I'm going to turn autosave off too because it keeps... Is it here or the other one? It might be the other one. It just... Oh, there it is. It keeps filling up my save slots and then it's like, oh, you can't save. I'm like, okay, cool. Not like I wanted to anyway, but, you know, I do want to have some sort of um, ability to save. <laughs> so, yeah, and not have to go through and delete them all. What did I want to do here? Uh, trade offer notifications. Only let me know if it's a star. Otherwise, I don't care. Waiver, same thing, which I, I've never seen that happen, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, I'm basically turning them off, but it'd be cool. And I think we're good. All right, I'm going to say we get draft pick number 14. That's my guess. And unlike last time, that's the first number that came to my head. <laughs> I didn't second guess. Ah, oh, 17. Okay, I was kind of close. Not bad, not bad. Let's jump in here and see what left-handed players we can get. Ovechkin is right-handed. We can get Barkov, though. He does, in fact, shoot left. What about Kirill the Thrill? He is making $9 million, though. But he'd get us points. Kyle Connor, guy is sick. He's so good. It's basically the same player. Five years left. Both 24, both 90 overall, both medium elite. Except one's making about $2 million less. Hmm. Shooting categories are both five-star. You know what? I'm going to go with Kyle Connor. This guy is so good at what he does for a living. It's dumb. Potentially bold strategy here, but... Oh, but Bergeron's only making 6.8. Man. That's tough. Kopitar, I'm sorry. You just sealed the deal with that, that contract. What about JT Miller, though? I do already have a left winger. He would be very nice to add to the team. No, I already have a left winger. I got to I gotta grab a centerman. So I'm grabbing Bergeron. Bergy, if you will, and yeah, that's a good start. Kadri, is he left-handed? Oh my goodness, he is. Okay, I don't care. I'm grabbing another centerman. Boom, there you go. Team is off to a good start, if I do say so myself, but I probably shouldn't because it <laughs> usually does not work out for me. Kreider is left-handed. He had, what a breakout year from this guy. Yeah, that was incredible. You know what? I am going to take him because he carried my fantasy team this year. It was just ridiculous. I mean, fantasy team still sucked, but yeah, he had a big part in making sure it didn't suck really bad. Zuccarello, another left winger that is left-handed. I feel like you don't see a lot of right wingers that are left-handed. Uh, defensemen. What about goalies? Grab a good goalie. Okay, well, that tailed off faster than I thought. Varlamov does glove left. Jari gloves left. Campbell on 1.6. That is wild. Uh, Blackwood. Is he the only one with abilities left? Uh, it's not even letting me go up one more. Farlamov. Wait, what? Hello? There we go. Yeah, he has one ability. Okay, well, good enough for me. Giordano shoots left. He can be the big veteran presence in the room. Got... A few abilities there. Contract is not too bad. So, yeah, we will be taking those. Voracek. He got like a million points last time. So, we are putting him on the team. I don't care about that cap. In the right-handed draft, that guy lit it up. So, he is going to be a honorary member of the San Jose Sharks. Brent Burns shoots right, I believe. Yes, he does. Suter was a... I think he was a left shot. Yeah, he's got two abilities as well, so I will also be grabbing you. And now let's find out what positions do I need. Okay, we're actually quite balanced so far. Never mind. I can't take Oshi because he does, in fact, shoot right. 
I could take Killer. Yeah, that's that's a possibility. Sure, why not? Let's take Kalorn. Uh, the cap space is gonna be a little tight at the end here. I'm thinking. It's the way it's shaping up anyway. I did want to take one goalie in specific. He better still be here. Yeah, I'm taking it because he's got two abilities. And I think he's the only goalie left that actually has... Oh, wait, never mind. Grubauer's got three. Okay. Okay, Grubauer, I see you. My bad. My bad for underestimating you. Okay, we're grabbing Grubauer then. Absolutely. Actually, on second thought, that's a huge cap difference. And we are in need of some budget players here. So I am going to grab Mike Smith after all. Marcus Foligno, welcome to the team, buddy. We are already maxed for left wingers. We only have two defensemen, two centers, and a single right winger. So that's fun. Eric Howla shoots left, and he's a centerman on a pretty good deal as well. So that is a solid pick at this point because we do need some budget players. Getzlav shoots right, so does Shattenkirk. Okay, what about Chara? This guy shoots left, right? Yeah. Holy crap, we have a lot of veterans on this team. Josh Anderson, he shoots right. Okay, let's grab Chara. Boom, there you go. That is our third defenseman. And now, we are looking a little bit more balanced. We still need right wingers. But I'm going to take Yandel. Because he's a <laughs> very budget defenseman. So, yeah, there you go. I'm going to try to add some youth to the room. So, I'm going to pick up Nicholas Robertson. There you go. He is a left-handed centerman, so we are done for centerman. And there's actually one other player I wanted to draft to add some youth to the team. And that was Veselainen. He is a left-wing slash right-wing, and he shoots left. 75 overall, not great, but not bad. Let's grab him. Yes, Radulov, four abilities, and he shoots left. He's a right-winger. Guy just checks all the boxes. The cap is... A, a little bit, but that's okay. That's all right. I think we can afford it because we only need to draft two more defensemen and one more forward. And we are good after that. So yeah, let's, uh, not goalies. Let's go to defensemen here. So we need some defensemen who are hopefully not making a crap ton of money. Edler at 3.5, that's doable. So we can take Edler for now. Okay. Looking good. We need one and one now. Yeah. Should I try to find a right winger or should I just, you know, grab anybody? <laughs> Palmieri, Hammerhead's legend, Ocpozo. Okay, they all shoot right. What about Smith? He also shoots right. Silverberg shoots right. Holy crap. There's a lot of right shooters here. Garnett? No. Come on, man. We may already have four centermen. But I'm going to be taking Paul Stasny, regardless. There you go. Yeah, we need a defenseman and we are done. I am not going to predict how this team's going to do until I see the lines because... Well, even when I do see the lines, I'm probably going to predict horribly wrong. But yeah, I'm going to be like, oh, this team looks sick. And then we're going to get melted, just rinsed by every team in the league. But yeah, we will deal with that when the time comes. So he was on the right-handed team. Yan also shoots right. Kempney shoots left. Okay, Kulikov is left. We have 7 million, so we could take pretty much anyone. Should I just take Duncan Keith? He's 83. Goligoski is also 83, and they both shoot left. He's lefty slash righty, and I feel like we've been taking a lot of left defensemen. So I'm leaning towards Goligoski. Yeah, that's, that's my reasoning. I'm taking Goligoski. Okay, draft is done. Moment of truth. What does our chemistry look like? Wow. Wow. We take those all day. A plus... No. No, no, no. It's plus five. You had it right the first time. Okay. So, plus five. Yes. I <laughs> I almost want to keep that line just to have the plus two, but I feel like Kadri's got to be there, and we'll get the plus one. Yeah. We'll just take the plus one there. Sherwood. Uh, no. What are you doing? And also, you. What are you doing here, Otto? Get out of here. Veselainen. Get on the team. There you go. That just ruined everything. Uh, centers... Robertson, boom, there you go. Nice. Nothing like a dash two on that last line. Yeah, that works out splendidly. Well, you know what? Our ice time allocation is roll three lines, so these guys are barely going to see the light of day. So that's okay. Yeah, we'll just run with this then. We got a plus five. Should I do it? 
Should I put Kadri on the third line? He's listed as a first line forward, this poor man. But I'm, I'm tempted, you know? I am tempted to do it. Because then we have... Ah, uh, dude. I could do that. Have, like, one of these guys play center. No, nah, they all suck at draws. I'm taking the plus one. I don't care. Kadri's going to be on that line. Yeah, I've made my final decision. What if I move Robertson up here? That doesn't help. That bottom line is still few. It's mostly Veseline. Well, Veseline and Ann Robertson, actually. And Howell is the same. So, something about that fourth line is just cursed. But we will let bygones be bygones. And check out our defensemen. We take that as well. We do take that. Yes, sir. All right. I am fine with all of this. Just seeing if there's any, you know. Okay. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do that one for the chemistry. Sorry, Suter. You are on the last pair there. What if I move him up, though? Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We are sick. We're so good. We are so good. We're winning the Stanley Cup. I don't care what anyone says. Despite that last line there, having a minus two or three, whatever they have, doesn't matter. We are incredible. Yeah. Okay. So that's my prediction. We win the Stanley Cup. I'm going to say that... Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to say... No, you know what? I'm going to say that Kreider gets the most points. Bold prediction here. But I'm going to say he gets... 70... No, he's getting 80. He's getting 80. Okay. There we go. That's my prediction. And... Yeah, I guess I'll predict how many wins we get. 49. All right, let's do this thing. If we're still somehow poo, I just am going to be flabbergasted to say the minimum. Nice start. Nice start. Let's go. A six-game winning streak. Seven-game winning streak. Yo, this is ridiculous. Okay, we finally took an L, but we bounced right back with a dub. I don't care about your scouting report, Jabroni. Does it look like I'm going to be drafting? No. Honestly, at this pace, we might hit the 50s. We might get to the 50s for wins. So it turns out the left-handed team is significantly better. Yeah, I would say that 50s are not only looking possible, they are looking likely. Because at the trade deadline, we have 41 wins. I'm not going to make any trades. I just want to see who's here because this team is rocking it right now. Enter the deadline. So we got Malkin. Wow. That would be cool. But no, not going to bother. Uh, Darcy Kemper. Maybe. Maybe. Darcy Kemper would be not a bad goalie to grab at 3.5 milli as well. He has no abilities. Maybe we should just stick with Varlamov. How's Varlamov doing? Let's see. Goalies. Boom. He is. Yeah, he's got a 917. He's doing all right. Smith has a 918. All right, we're just going to leave it. I'm not making any trades. But yeah, those are the players on the block for this trade deadline. Let's get out of here and continue winning. Big 9-5-W over Calgary, a shootout loss. That is a point. We need three more wins over two weeks to get us to the 50 mark. Now we need... Oh, yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it, baby. There it is. Is it going to be good enough for the presidents? It actually might be. It might be. There is the potential for that to be a president's trophy season. So let's see here. 89 from Kadri. So I had the right idea of going to the second line, but... Yeah, it was the wrong player. 111 points from your San Jose Sharks. Good enough for first in the Pacific and good enough for first in the league, baby. What a season. 52 wins, 23 losses, 7 overtime losses. Yeah, we slayed it that year. Okay, let's check if it's the top 16. It is not. Uh, the 15th place Flyers got shafted and then we got 16-17 making it in. And just scroll to the bottom here. Boom, Tampa Bay got 65 points. Not a great year from them. Let's check the player stats, shall we? So, Kadri ripped it up. 89 points. Kyle Connor with 83. Kreider only put up 68, but that's okay. I wanted to make a bold prediction anyway. Radulov ended up getting 64 on the third line. He was on the third line, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, what a beauty. Voracek with 57. Kyle Connor, 83 point a game. You literally love to see it. It's just so good. Robertson, they actually didn't do bad. He got 21 points and was a plus three. Veselainen got 15, was a plus two. And was it Stasny, maybe? He was a dash three and 21. 
Can't complain. Can't complain. All right. Goaltenders. A 913 from Varlamov and a 924 from Smith. He did only play 13 games, but yeah. Very solid performance from both netminders. Let's check out the entire league. So Varlamov is at the top here, tied for wins actually with Igor. And uh, Igor had a better save percentage, but doesn't matter because Varlamov's at the top. So yeah, eat that. And Jack Campbell, 923. He did very well for sure. 42 wins on the year. There you go. There's the top three goaltenders. Let's check out a defenseman, shall we? Dougie Hamilton, 72 points. Devin Taves with 66. Okay, so I'm not seeing Fox. So it looks like I'm not the only player. There he is. He got 55, which I think is somewhat close to what he got for us. And yeah, there's the defenseman. Forwards. Here we go. Patrick Kane, 102. Ovi, 102. And 65 goals for Patrick Kane. Jeez. That's wild. Drysidle, 98. Crosby, 97. Uh, where's McDavid at? Oh, my. Who had this man and what did they do to him? Nashville, he only got 77 points. Rough go from him. A lot of players that were over point a game. But, uh, yeah, Kadri's right there. He's on the front page. Good stuff. Playoff time. Will we get destroyed in the first round? Likely. I would say likely. But let's see if we can break the curse. We sure can. LA is Dunyans. Now we've got the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim. Just a battle of California here. Okay, we got Colorado now. And we rinse them. We got Flo Rida in the finals. Can we win the Stanley Cup as well? Come on, boys. Oh, it comes down to game seven. Are you kidding me? Simulate that game. Here we go. All right, first period. Ooh, okay, we're down by one. Second period. 1-1, one, one, baby. Radulov with a huge goal. It is third period time for the Stanley Cup. Can we win the Presidents and the Stanley Cup in one year? That would be quite the season. Kadri again. This guy has been clutch. He had the most points for the team. And then Giordano. Let's go. On Sorokin. Give them a power play, but that's okay. We've done it. Oh, no. I spoke too soon. Pasta gets one. No. No. Pasta with the hat trick. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? If they win, he should get the Consumite just for this. Five on three? What are we doing, guys? Okay, we killed it off somehow. San Jose? Power play? Power play? No. Oh, my. Halfway through the overtime? Give them a power play? No! No! Oh, my word. That's a joke. That is an absolute joke. Get out of here, Pasta. Yeah, right. 35 points in 25 games from Kyle Connor. You absolute certified mad lad. Actually, okay, no, I want to see playoff points, so I guess you got to go to this one. I think that's... All right, no, you can just do it from either one. You got to go up here. My bad. I was thinking of season mode or something. We got 34 from Bergeron as well. 17 goals from Connor, 29 points from Voracek, 28 from Kadri. Yeah, the boys fought, fought hard. I can't be mad. I cannot be mad at all. And eight, what are you doing? Okay, I can be mad. Varlamov, I should have traded you for Kemper. That's disgusting. You should be ashamed. <laughs> Still went 15-7-3, though. But that's because of the team. The team carried him. Anyway, check out the awards. Did we take home any individual trophies? That's the question. So, yeah, we know that. We already know all of these. Let's check out the individual. Art Ross goes to Hattie Kane. Same with the Hart. Hamilton gets the Norris. Patrick Kane with the Lady Bing as well. Uh, Jarvis gets the Calder. Good for you, Seth. All right, Pasta with the Con Smythe. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Shesterkin gets the Vesna and the Jennings. Okay, cool. I see you. Mata gets the Masterton. Ebbett with the Jack Adams. I don't think we want any individual trophies. Selkie goes to O'Reilly. Hattie Kane with the Ted Lindsay and with the Rocket Richard. Yeah, he had 65 goals. Pretty tough to beat that. Okay, playoff tree. Here you go. The Florida Panthers swept. The New York Rangers down in the bottom corner there. But yeah, you know what? I thought this was the one. I thought we had it. And it turns out we most certainly did not have it. Game 7 Stanley Cup Finals overtime off of a clutch hat trick from Pasta. There was like two and a half minutes left. And the guy gets two goals to tie it up. You can't make that up. You really cannot. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you. If you have any other draft ideas, let me know down below. I'll see you soon.